in this video i am going to show you how you can track view content event for talk pixel using google tag manager hi my name is nasim and you are welcome to this video i love to share my experience and teach people how to grow their skills and make money from home i'm a top rated freelancer on upwork and i have five years of working experience so if you want to stay up to date and learn more about marketing and grow your skills, you can subscribe to my channel. I think you will never be disappointed. Let's drive in here. Let's see how to track view content event for e-commerce website. Like it's a e-commerce website and we have to measure the customer journey. So that's why we have to set up a standard event for e-commerce tracking. Like uh, if customer visit of this page, it's actually a view content event. If you want to check the TikTok official document, you can see TikTok called it's a view content event. And here is some instruction. So you can follow this instruction. And here you can see uh, this is the recommended parameter for this standard event. So that's mean we have to track the dynamic value dynamic name and dynamic this product id so that's why we need this parameter so let's go to the google tag manager container so this is my google tag manager container and you can see our base code is already installed that's mean our website is connected with this tiktok pixel through this tag manager and if you want to check this website is connected with this pixel you can simply use a tiktok helper 2.0 extension and this extension say our pixel is connected but it's only for page view when i click this page but it not say it's a view content event but it should say it's a view content event now we are going to set up the view content event okay first of all go to the preview mode and we have to find our trigger okay so click on continue and then so our website is loaded and we have to go the specific product page which is this one and if i see carefully of this left hand side you can see it's a view item it's here but uh, in pixel here but there is no view content event so that's mean it's a trigger and if you check the data layer you can see all the information here so we have to set up everything so for this case we are going to make a trigger first just click on trigger and click on new and of course you have to select the custom event and you have to copy this name and you have to paste here the exact same name and you can uh, give a name here which is view item trigger and save it and then click on tag we have to make a new tag for this event so let's click on this button and then find and custom event like if you choose this tiktok template here is no option to set up event so that's why we don't want to use this template we have to use this custom html form so here you can see we have to implement the custom html code I already make this code based on this TikTok official document. Here you can see we have to use this code and we have to use this parameter. I already set it up. That's why I am going to copy it and drag paste it in our HTML box. Here you can see I used content type, content ID content name and value and currency and just we have to 
select the right trigger and then give a name here which is customized table not i am using tiktok view content you can input any name that you like i am using this name and i am going to save it here you can see my tag is here so let's check again click on preview and then our website is open automatically it's loading it's need a few moment for opening sometime and it's successfully connected and see our view content event is not yet fired because we are just view this page it's a home page now we are going to open this specific page and check our tag is fired and let's check the extension it's not coming here so our tag is still not fired yet because uh, our, i have a, i made a mistake which is uh, this one uh, you can see for event name is add to cart okay so that's why it's uh, not working so we have to select the exact right name so this is view content just copy it and paste it view content and save it and submit it and publish it and hit the preview again just click on this product page let's check again this extension and here it is our view content event is working perfectly also we can check out all the information are coming here content name content type content id currency usd etc so that's mean it's working fine that's all for today if you found this video useful don't forget to give thumbs up and if you want to see more video from me you can subscribe to my channel i think you will never be disappointed